Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to extract the contents of an ISO file. So ISO files are used for things such as uh, operating system media. So if you install Windows, for example, you'll probably be downloading the ISO file and then burning it to a flash drive using something like Rufus. So you could think of an ISO file sort of like a zip file where it contains multiple files and folders within one single file. So you may or may not know that you can right click on an ISO file and choose mount and that will mount it as a disk on your computer here. So you can see here it mounted it as this F drive here and here are the contents of the ISO file and then you could extract them all here or copy and paste them somewhere else and if you are missing the mount option there is a fix for that. We did a video on that so I'll put a link in the description in case you don't have that but if you just want to extract the contents of an ISO file without mounting it you could simply use something like 7-zip or WinRAR. It's another option here to extract the contents of the file. So we're going to use 7-zip in our example. So that's free to use. So once you download and install it, all you need to do is right-click on your ISO file. So for Windows 11, you got to go to Show More Options. Or, of course, you could hold down Shift. And you'll have a 7-zip option here. And then you could either open it or extract it and even test it. So you could extract files and choose a directory. Choose extract here which will extract it right in the same location of the file itself. So in our case the desktop which might be kind of messy if you have a lot of files and folders in that ISO file. Or you could have it extract it to a folder named after the ISO file itself. So we're just going to go ahead and do that because it's the easiest way to do it. So we'll click on that. So now you can see it's extracting the files and there's the folder. So I'll give it a minute here to finish extracting everything. All right, so that's done. So now we can open the folder. And you can see we have the same contents as we did from the CD itself. So that's pretty simple. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy way to extract the contents of the ISO file. All right, so once again, just install 7-zip. I'll put a link in the description for that. Right-click on your ISO file. Show more options for Windows 11, 7-zip. And then pick one of these three options here, depending on your needs. And that's all you got to do. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.